Hi everyone, it's Michelle with Chalk Couture. We are going to do a couple projects today and they are super fun for spring and Easter. Um, we're going to do a smaller project with our new bunnies and these are available on the website. They're so cute, they come in a package of two. So we're going to chalk those as well as a door hanger sign, which is pretty big. So we are going to chalk this big beauty and I haven't done a large project for you yet. So I'm kind of excited for you to see that. So as always, make sure you say hello. Um, I'd love for you guys to join my VIP group. So just vo comment VIP and I will get you entered there and send you the link. Um, aside from that, let's get chalking. So I'm gonna bring you down to the design table and we are going to start on our bunny since we are gonna want them to dry because I'm going to add a little bit of um, flowers to them. So I want that chalk to be nice and dry. So let's head on down. Okay, for our bunnies, they are tiny. Not tiny, but you know, they're not a huge a project. And we are going to use two different patterns. This is going to be our color palette. We have pistachio. This is a brand new color. And this is our brand new creamy, dreamy paste. This is our melon shimmer. And so you can see it's kind of got a nice little shimmer to it. Super fun. And then later on, we'll use our bright white. So I'm going to grab a couple squeegees. I think we'll do the little guy first. And he is not going to take that long. And he's going to be polka dots. So we are going to just remove the transfer from its backer. And remember, sticky goes against shiny when you put it back. These transfers are washable and reusable, so you can wash them and love them and use them over and over again. So when using a pattern, it really is quite simple. You just put a little design, whatever you're using, just over it. We're gonna take our squeegee. You're gonna make sure you have a nice good seal. Anything that is white is what is going to be the design. You're just going to, oh, this paste is just awesome. You're going to basically smear it over your transfer. And like I always say, if you can butter bread, you can do chalk couture and look like an artist. That's one of the things I love most about chalk couture is that it's a Pinterest no fail. You're going to scrape back the excess paste right back into the jar. You're just going to make sure you get good coverage all over this adorable little bunny. And that is it. Simple. You're just going to peel off the transfer and that's where the magic happens. So I'm just going to take it and I'm gonna peel it off. <gasps> Look how adorable he is. He's got perfect little polka dots all over him. I'm just gonna set this transfer aside. When I'm all done with the projects, I will just take the transfer to my sink and just wash it off with plain old water. So here's our first little guy, he's so cute. So I'm gonna set him aside and we're gonna work on this larger guy. For him, I'm gonna use our, it's called mini buffalo plaid, but it is a big transfer. So I'm actually not going to peel it all the way off his backer. I'm gonna peel him part way. And then I'm going to put the bunny in there just to make it a little easier to work with. I am not on my kitchen counter today. I am just on my little design table here. So I am just going to lay the transfer. I'm going to kind of use his feet as a guide to make sure um, that he's straight. And I'm going to take the bottom of his feet and line it up with this row right there. That's going to make sure I get a nice 
straight buffalo plaid. And I'm going to take a clean squeegee and use our melon shimmer. And I'm just going to scoop some up. Do the same process, make sure it's good, good and sealed on there. It looks like it is. And you are just going to drag the paste right across the transfer, just like so. And you're going to scrape back your excess to cover your entire bunny. These bunnies, if by the time this video shows are sold out online, let's hope not, but if they are, I do have some extra here at the house that I could send out. So we are going to scrape back all the excess, put it back in the jar, and then same process. You're just going to lift the transfer, peel it up. I'm gonna grab him so he doesn't slide around. And then you have a perfect, I'm gonna set that transfer back on the backer. You have a perfect buffalo plaid bunny. He's adorable. Okay, so we are gonna set him aside and let me set this aside and I will do the same thing. Take it to the kitchen sink, wash it with just plain old water and let it dry. Okay, the next project is going to be our um, door wreath. I'm gonna put this bunny aside over here because I may need a little more room. This one is bigger, so we're, let's clear some space. This is a size D transfer and we are going to um, get another squeegee for the white because we're gonna need that. I'm just gonna put that over there. This is going on this nice big 18 inch round. What I'm gonna do with this transfer first is get my big towel. So I do not have a fuzzing cloth that's big enough to fuzz this with. So we're just gonna use a regular old household towel. And when you're peeling a larger transfer, I just start it. Then you're going to put like a little edge down and you're just going to flip it like so, and then just peel the backer out from underneath. I wanted to do a larger project so that you guys would not be afraid of these large, beautiful transfers because they are gorgeous. And if you can imagine, this can go on a wooden round, um, a large chalkboard if you have a large chalkboard, but I wanted you to see how easy it is to design with this. So we're just gonna get a good amount of fuzz. And I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to get my board out. And here's the board. This is the top, I already made the cute little hanger but you could obviously totally dress this up more than I'm doing. But this is the top center. Let me see. Then I'm just going to peel my transfer, put it on the board, put my fuzzing cloth away. And I like to handle these transfers, usually folding them in half so that you lessen your chances of it folding on itself. And it kind of gives you a good reference point of where the halfway mark is, especially when you're centering it on a larger board like this. So I'm kind of eyeballing the halfway mark and we'll see how I did. Not too great. 
Okay, so this one is a little off center for the design onto the transfer. So I'm gonna have to eyeball it even more for that very reason. <laughs> it may take a couple times, but once you get it placed, it really, you kind of use your fingers to feel where it's at. That looks about right. And we are actually going to do the paste and lift technique. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you don't have any air bubbles in the screen because if you have air bubbles, they tend to create um, kind of a smear of the chalk. And even though it's chalk and you want it to look chalky, you still want it to look nice. And so we are going to, I'm gonna do the Hello Spring in white. We're gonna do most of the wreath in green and then we're gonna accent some of the, I'm gonna get a smaller squeegee. I'm gonna accent some of these flowers in the melon. So let's just get started. This is how I tackle a larger project. So we're gonna take um, the green pistachio and I'm just gonna go across the top here. We're gonna go around. Scraping that back and then I'm going to come in here and get some of the green and I'm actually going to switch to a smaller squeegee for this as well. So these large transfers can be intimidating but once you see the final design you go why did I wait to try it? They're so fun. So we're going to go back down to like this point and we're going to stop. So I'm going to scrape that up, make sure I covered everything I wanted covered. And it looks pretty good. I'm going to set that aside, get some small melon and we're just going to put it over these little florals right there just ever so slightly i'm gonna put that aside and i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna do the hello the reason we're doing this this is going to be the peel and lift technique you can see i might have a little air bubble but that's okay it'll still look great and if I don't like it, the beauty of it is I can wash it off and do it over again. So we're gonna peel and lift. And look how gorgeous it is. So we're gonna do it to that point. And we're gonna just ever so gently, and I actually may just for the heck of it, dry this a little bit. But you can see how easy it is to design with multiple colors with this peel and lift technique. And this is our heat tool and it's just gonna help speed up the drying process just a little bit. I'm going to set that down. So now I'm going to lay it back down without pushing it back down. And then I'm going to come back to the parts that, um, and just chalk right back over it. So we're going to miss this little flower, right? We're going to go down, get some more green. We're just gonna finish out the entire piece. So I'm gonna go around to here. Just chalk, chalk, chalk. Okay. 
this is all green, so I can just do that really quick. And it, it's not going to matter this little bit of pink that's already on there because we're going over it. So it shouldn't affect the design at all. And I'm going to get a smaller squeegee because this is kind of a skinnier portion. And we just want to chalk that little bit. Then grab our melon and go over the melon. I always like to do white last. For some reason, white, because of the lack of pigment, just tends to dry just ever so slightly quicker. A little green on my hand and I don't want to get that on my white. So then we're going to go back over and we are going to get this spring. I wanted to tell you guys again about um, our awesome Club Couture program that we have where we will send you a kit every month for you to design and beautify your home with, um, add to your decor, or um, actually in my group, I show you three different ways to use our club transfer that comes to you every month. So if you're interested in club, it's $20 a month and we send you a beautiful design. And I have a guarantee, if you don't love the design, I will exchange it for another design that we have in stock because I want you to love our products. So again, we're just going to peel it up and we've already peeled that back, so it's not going, it did not restick to what was already dried. But look at that. I'm gonna set this aside. And again, this one, since it's bigger, I will probably take it to my bathtub to wash it off. But, hello spring. Isn't that awesome? Woo, I love it. I'm going to set it aside to dry and we are going to work with our bunnies again. So what I've done for these little guys, these will sit, um, let me close up my paste real quick here. These will sit on my table or one of my bookshelves. Super cute. Like I said, all you do is scrape everything back into the jar, put your lid back on, close it up. You're good until the next time. I'm just going to add a little something to them just to give them a little more cuteness. So I am going to take, I had these roses left over from Valentine's Day. They're just little paper flowers and I'm going to put them on their tails just to give them a little extra feminine. So this little guy, kind of already pre-measured, so I kind of know that he's gonna need to just put a little dab, dab of glue, a little dab will do ya. So I'm just going, he, the, he, his need to kind of stick up a little bit. I'm just gonna hold them there for a quick sec. Let them get nice and set. And these guys, I could have painted them a base coat of like gray, but doesn't that just give them a little something extra? So cute. So now this big guy, we're gonna put it a little bit more on his tail. And he's kind of gonna go two in one. Or these could have been different colors. And maybe later I'll add little um, eyes to them. Who knows? All right, everyone. Those are my projects for today. I hope you loved it. Um, let me get the board again. 
See how cute it turned out? Hello, spring. Along with our adorable little bunnies. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next month. Bye.